Hey everybody, I am Surbhi and you are watching Key Differences. In this video, we will discuss the meaning and concept of commerce along with its characteristics, functions and classification. So friends, without wasting a minute, let's dive right into our video. Before understanding what is commerce, first of all we will understand what is the need of commerce. So, as we all know that production of goods takes place at a particular location, but the consumers are spread all over the geographical area. And goods are of no use if they do not reach the final consumer. Moreover, consumers lack awareness about what kind of goods are produced by the manufacturer. In addition to this, production of goods takes place in large quantities, but the consumer demands goods in small quantities. So all of these issues are resolved by commerce. So that is why we need commerce. So commerce includes all those activities which directly or indirectly helps in bringing goods from the place of production to the place of consumption. Hence it not just includes trades but also services like transportation, warehousing, packaging, insurance, banking and sales promotion etc. These services are incidental to trade. Moving on to the characteristics of commerce, first of all commerce is an economic activity. This is because the activities are undertaken with the motive of earning money. Next it involves exchange and distribution of goods and services. Here goods are bought or produced for the purpose of resale. The motive of commerce is to earn profit. Any transaction that does not result in the generation of profit do not form part of commerce as well. Regularity in transactions. The transactions must take place on a large scale on a regular basis to be called as commerce. Commerce create utilities that is place utility and time utility by making goods available at the right time and place. Further, commerce is a part of business. It is a branch of economics. Moving on to the functions of commerce. As we have already discussed that there are a number of issues that are resolved through commerce. Now we are going to discuss each of the functions of commerce one by one. Removing the hindrance of persons. Here persons means economic agents that is buyers and sellers. Commerce provides a proper platform through trade. Trade offers an organized market where buyers and sellers can come in contact with each other and perform the transaction. Removing the hindrance of place. With the help of transport, packaging and insurance, commerce removes the hindrance of place. The companies can send their goods at distant location without fearing the loss due to theft, pilferage, damage, etc. In fact, transportation facilities are so modernized now that it has become really easy to transport the goods safely and quickly. Also, packaging is done in such a way that keeps the quality of the goods intact during transit and in storage. Next, removing the hindrance of time. At present, the large-scale production of goods takes place in the anticipation of demand and there is always a time gap between production and consumption of goods. Hence, they are stored in warehouses until they are sold. And in this way, hindrance of time is removed. Removing the hindrances of exchange. There has to be a common medium of payment to enable buying and selling of goods. Here, money acts as a common medium. But again, safe and convenient means of payment is necessary for settling the transaction for which banks play a crucial role. Banks not just make the payment but also collect the payment on behalf of their clients. Removing the hindrance of risk. At the time of transportation and storage there are chances of damage or loss of goods. There is always a risk of theft, fire etc. Insurance helps in overcoming this risk by compensating for the loss. Removing the hindrances of knowledge. As the consumers are not having sufficient knowledge and awareness about the benefit and uses of the product manufactured by the producers. Producers have to face difficulty to sell them. Advertising and sales promotion helps in removing the hindrance. Advertising often persuades people to buy the goods and services. So these are the functions performed by the commerce. Coming to the classification of commerce. Commerce is classified into two main categories that is trade and aids to trade. We are going to discuss each of them one by one. Trade means buying or acquiring goods and services with the purpose of selling them at a profit. It aims at making the goods and services available to the people who need them and are able and willing to pay for them. Aids to trade. These are the auxiliaries to trade that ensures a smooth flow of goods and services from producers to consumers. They remove the barriers in the buying and selling of goods. These are 
transportation, warehousing, banking, insurance, advertising, etc. So friends, this brings me to the end of this lesson. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and share it with other people. Also, if you are new to this channel and want to get more such useful videos, consider subscribing this channel and also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time whenever a new video is uploaded on this channel. And if you have any queries or feedback for me, feel free to leave in the comment section below. Until next time, this is me Surbhi signing off.